So this problem is called testing one, two, three. And so it says, your team is writing a fancy new text editor and you've been tasked with implementing uh, line numbering. Write a function which takes a list of strings and returns each line prepended by the correct number. The number starts with one. The format is uh, n, so I guess that's line number, and then the line itself. Uh, notice the colon and space in between. So it's got a couple of examples. Uh, when it's passed an empty array, it returns an empty array. When it's returned an array of of lines, it returns the line number with the line contents. So the first thing, I guess the first thing I'm going to try and do is loop over the the incoming array. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can do that. You could I can do that with a traditional uh, for loop, or you can use um, each. Um, so it'll be array array dot each. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to try and use map because then I can return. I can map over this and return this. Um, without having to, without having a sort of a holder which I'd need for each. So I can do array uh, map um, pass in line. So that would be so line would represent each element in the array. Um, and that takes a function. Close that off, and I can just return line to, to kick things off. So if I test that, and uh, oh yeah, so that doesn't return anything. I missed a return. So it's a return from the function inside array.map, and then returning the result of array.map. Uh, so the first test is passing because um, when the array has no elements, uh, map's just returning the empty array anyway. So essentially the input equals the output. Uh, but the second one, which is kind of the interesting case, we have, so we're expecting line number one equals a and we're just getting a which makes sense because i'm just returning line at the moment so the next step would be to uh, actually add the line number so the format of that would be something like uh, i'm going to use um, uh, some string interpolation so i can do something like this. So this interpolates in the line. So if I do this, um, so now I've hard coded the format here. Um, so, so that's the format that, that I want. The problem is, of course, I can't just hard code the line number. So I can solve that fairly easily by passing uh, a second argument to the function. Uh, so array.map uh, allows allows me to pass a second argument which acts as an index so you can see that this is an optional uh, second argument here um, and so what I can do is replace this sorry with an index So now it's actually in, it's actually returning the incremented index each time, but the problem is uh, we want to start at one, not zero. So I can simply do index plus one. Okay, so the problem is solved. If 
if I click attempt just to run against all the random tests it still passes um, so that's cool um, the last thing I can do is probably actually uh, move this all onto a single line so if I do this and then when I inline a JavaScript function like this I can remove the return and the curly braces that should work lovely and yeah, I think that's everything. Problem solved.